Hello and welcome to Veganuary and to the Simply CA. My name is Alana and on this channel you are going to find tools, tips, tricks, and resources to help you live your best, fullest, most authentic, and most true, fulfilling life. You will continue to find whole food plant-based eating, especially these next few videos as we move through the month of January which is also known as Veganuary, yoga and fitness videos, as well as human design lifestyle coaching videos. If you enjoy the content, please remember to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are aware every time I post a new video. Throughout the month of January, you are going to find additional vegan content on this channel. You can find my Veganuary playlist in the description box below. And in today's video, we are going to start off a little bit of what I eat over the course of a few days. So in these videos, you will see a compilation of meals and snacks that I have put together over the last or the previous few days, as well as potentially if there is a new recipe, a little recipe guide for you. In addition to these what I eat in a day videos, you will also find in a couple of my previous videos some downloadable guides so that you have a very successful well-stocked pantry as well as some meal ideas that you can utilize through the month of January. So without further ado, let's get into what I have been eating these first few days of January. I actually started this day off with some avocado toast, but we are going to jump straight ahead to dinner where I made a soy curl and broccoli stir fry. So you can see that I have made the noodles by soaking them in some hot water. And then I've got these soy curls that are marinating in some vegetable broth. Um, so just putting them into some warm, oil and I just serve up as much as I want in any given portion so obviously if you're making this for more people go with more and then we've got some ginger <laughs> chopping away there um, and as you can tell I've got the broccoli ready to go which we'll get to in just a moment And this is just one of those really easy, simple meals that doesn't have a lot of components and can really be very versatile. So if I don't have soy curls, I can use tofu, or if you don't have access to soy curls, you can fully use tofu or tempeh, anything else that you want. So we'll just get the broccoli going. And if you don't normally do this, you can use the stalk of the broccoli and it provides a different texture and that way you're utilizing more of the broccoli as well. So make sure if you are going to use the stalks of the broccoli <laughs> that you peel off the outer skin. Um, and then especially if I'm using soy curls, they do require a little bit more stirring. So always keep your eye on them and stir them as necessary. We're going to get into making this particular sauce here and you can tell I just eyeball everything. So this is going to be tamari or if you don't have tamari, um, soy sauce is the same. It's just this is gluten free. And then I use sweet soy sauce and I really only started using sweet soy sauce, but oh my goodness, I love it. Um, if you don't have sweet soy sauce, just add a little bit of brown sugar, coconut sugar or some maple syrup. Same thing for the fish sauce. If you don't have a vegan fish sauce around you, don't worry, just omit it. It's absolutely unnecessary, but it just adds another depth of flavor. And then this is, <laughs> did you see my rubber gloves in there? This is the uh, chili garlic sauce that I use consistently. So we've got all the veggies in the frying pan. Everything's nice and warm. The noodles have now had their opportunity to quote unquote cook. Um, and then we add them and the dressing, the whole sauce situation. If you find that this flavor profile doesn't quite cut it, you can always add a little bit of toasted sesame oil, or as I said, you could add a little bit of um, brown sugar or maple syrup, anything else. And then we just sort of like heat that all up, make sure that everything gets nice and cooked and that that leftover liquid disappears and that's it. It's so simple and easy. And then I finished this day off with some 
I honestly don't remember what I did for breakfast on this day. It wasn't exciting. And then for dinner, we went out and picked up some Virtuous Pie, which is a vegan pizza place. They also do garlic knots and then they do salads. This one is their like kale and squash salad. And best part is they do some incredible vegan ice cream. So this was a third day of Veganuary. Every day I actually start off with coffee and I will show you my coffee creamer in just a moment. Um, but on this day I wanted to do a bean and cashew, white bean and cashew dipping sauce. So this is Sunday, so I'm getting ready for the work week. So I'm soaking my cashews in some hot water um, after I made my coffee. And then I've rinsed off some white beans. I have no idea what kind of beans these are. They're just white beans. And I'm putting them into my instant pot with half a cup of beans to one cup of water. And then I'm adding in some of that bouillon that I use for everything. And we're gonna set this in the instant pot for three minutes. Um, really, I just want them to cook so that I can blend them up along with those soaked cashews. So nothing too crazy happening here. Um, make sure that your Instant Pot is set to sealing. And then um, when the timer goes off, we will come back to this um, as we do the uh, soft release or the, the natural release. So while that's going, I'm just gonna measure out my spices. So we've got um, some garlic powder, some onion powder. I did half a teaspoon of garlic powder and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. So I just sort of did half the amount. And then some paprika, just the regular kind. I didn't wanna take off the lid, so just eyeballing that one. And then the smoked paprika, I added like a dash the tiniest, scantest amount of that, and then salt and pepper to finish out that. Again, just eyeballing it. So here are those ingredients. Again, really simple, um, probably have everything. You definitely don't need the smoked paprika. That one I just kind of added for a little bit of an extra depth in the flavor. So here we go back to getting the coffee ready. Um, I use the silk almond in either the original or the hazelnut. I would love if they had other flavors of that, but for right now in Canada, that's what we get. So I've let the beans saw, uh, natural release for about eight or so minutes, and then I remove the seal and just let it finish up. So the beans are definitely cooked. And then from here, I'm gonna scoop the beans, and at this point, I'm draining out the liquid. I learned later I needed all of the liquid. So you could totally just pour the beans and their liquid into your high powered blender. And then I scoop out from the liquid, the cashews. Um, if you are not feeling super lazy and you're happy to dirty another dish, I strongly recommend just draining the cashews and giving them a rinse. I was feeling lazy. And then we've got half a lemon, depending on how much lemoniness you like, you can do more than half, but uh, half was enough. And then a little bit of miso paste, I use the white or light miso. Then we're just gonna add in the spice mixture and pop that uh, into the, onto the blender. Uh, here I am coming back because I realized I needed a lot more liquid. Um, so I just sort of scooped little bits and little bits, but it wasn't enough. And I finally ended up adding a little bit of olive oil as well. So I prepared that for the week. However, I also used it for my breakfast, lunch, brunch situation this morning. So here I've got some sourdough bread, some vegan butter, and I put the vegan butter on before I toast the bread. That way the oils really like soak up into the bread and crisp the bread very, very nicely. And 
while the bread is toasting, I am going to cut up some cucumber because I happen to have it available and around. And testing out the bean dip, I had dried just a little bit, but dipped my cucumber in it. Um, and it is really nice, has a good flavor profile. So for this particular meal, I've got the bean dip, putting it on top of the toast, and then I'm going to layer it with some cucumber. And finish it off with a little bit of red chili flakes. Definitely unnecessary, but um, again, just added a little more flavor. And there you have it. That is the first couple of days. I've also since had another dinner, which I will include later on or a variation of it later on. I also had some snacks, some cassava chips, and additional amounts of that delightful virtuous pie ice cream. Other than that, those are pretty much the things that I've eaten the last few days. It's been the weekend, so I mean, even during the week, I don't really do breakfast, but especially on the weekends, I'm not usually eating until 11, 12, one o'clock. So you're missing out on that, however, in the description box below or in my Veganuary playlist, I do have the ability for you to download an entire grocery list as well as a whole bunch of recipes. And I have included some great breakfast recipes for those of you who prefer to have a meal first thing in the morning. Otherwise, that is what I've eaten these past few days and I will continue to film. So please let me know down in the comments if there's anything you're curious about, if there's anything you're excited to learn more about, if there's any concerns that you have as you move through this Veganuary journey, or even if you're just trying to incorporate more whole food, plant-based meals. And that's not to say that every single thing that I'm eating is whole food. Yes, you did see that ice cream. Yes, there are some potato chips that are likely going to get dipped into that delightful bean dip. But really the majority of the food that I eat is whole food, plant-based and vegan. And for Veganuary, it is 100% vegan. And with that, let me know down in the comment section again if you have any questions or if there's anything you're interested in learning more about. And I will see you in the next video.